There's one more comment here I want to do. I don't know if you've got any you want to do, but uh, it's another one from AXIO. A oh, gosh. That guy, the same guy. Um, and he's, he's talking about the images that we put on the the, the podcast. Uh, so we can we can do an explanation. Of, I'll do an explanation of that, why, why they look the way they do. And he says, well, you sure chose some creepy images to accompany this. And somebody else, somewhere else, I don't know if I can find that quickly, had said a, a similar sort of thing. What They'd asked what we call that art that we use. Um, yeah, what is the... It's Omsk. 5185 says what's the type of art used in the images called um, and well the, the, the style of art is AI art it's both Chris and myself generate images that we string together to, to use in the videos and the reason they look a bit inappropriate at times I guess is because they're completely random the videos are the video side of it is generated separately from the audio side so they're just they're just strings of images that we think are nice to, or I think because I do the editing uh, that are nice to look at and interesting to look at aside from what's being said because I don't I don't know my my view on it is that there will there will be moments of synchronicity between the images and what's being spoken about that that makes sense and other times when they don't make sense but it just gives you something to look at whilst you're listening and if you don't need to if you don't need to look and you just want to listen you're not missing anything it's not like we're it's not like we're illustrating every point with a with an appropriate image so you can just listen and you're not you're not really going to miss it so that's why they are like that and the the idea that they're disturbing images yes they they sometimes are but all all ai art is a bit like that but i think i think you were saying that you've generated some images some different kinds of images maybe for this 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 lot of podcasts yeah i've been making some I uh, well, I, I subscribe to uh, to actually. I decided to pay for a, a month for Chat GTP four. I wanted to experience what the AI was like, and I've I've been finding it very useful for work more than I I do for fun. But I wanted to experience like more of the top shelf of what they have to offer, mm -hmm. you know, as far as getting better images generated and be able to be able to communicate with it more than you can with the free version, right? Where you can just you just give it a prompt and it spits something out, and you're, that's all you get, right? Um. So I was, I'm finding myself able to do more of what's in my head and get like more closer to what I'm imagining. So I was, I'm enjoying that more, but I, for whatever reason, I do lean towards, if I just want to make an image for no reason, I lean towards dark stuff. And I don't know if that's a, <laughs> a personality, a well, fault. That, that, or if that it's has just, to be in your prompts then. It's in the language that you use, isn't it? it has to be oh yeah. Prompt. It's not, yeah. I know, I know, it's, I know, it's, I know, I know it's not like unintentional. I mean, it's, it's unintentional consciously. Like I'm not like, Hey, let's make the darkest fucking image I can mm, make. Mm -hmm. It's, it's more like, it's like I, well, I listen to music. I prefer music that's in minor key. Mm -hmm. You know, I prefer the a lot of the. I, I'm not a huge fan of horror movies or anything, but I've always I, I like things that make my skin crawl and give me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. You know, like it's like the the mysterious unknown. You know, mm -hmm. and I find fear fear fills the unknown. You know, so so when I'm I'm toying with the stuff, I tend to go there, and I think there's this and part of it. I like to push the boundaries, right? Because AI loves flowery, positive stuff, but when you try and push it to darkness, it starts giving you warnings like, "Oh, you can't say that. You can't do yeah, this." Yeah, yeah. So that, yeah. so I try and I tr so I try and dance around the warnings, right? Which is part of where that it comes from, you know. And then, and you hear my music. A lot of times, I'm making art. I'm thinking about my music, right? So I'm like, how would? So I'm trying. I'm thinking like, what would go along with this song or this idea? Mm -hmm. And a lot of my songs are are filled with like blistering rage, you know. And it's it's a way I express my frustration is through music, you know. So I, mm -hmm. um, so it manifests that way. And it, and I, sometimes I try hard not to do that, you know. But sometimes, like it's 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 not as much about what I create; it's more about how I feel when I'm done. And like I would love if I could go to the bathroom and shit out golden eggs, but I shit out <laughs> big lumps of shit, you know. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I. So art, art to me is like taking a mental shit a lot of the times, you know. And, um, <laughs> I'm sure Picasso thought exactly the same, didn't he? Probably, yeah. You know, and so what you what you're seeing is it's get it's just getting it's getting the the, the sort of poison out somehow. It's, it's expressing the poison, making it yeah. making it real, yeah. Uh, but a lot of your images are are, uh, are sort of mind blowingly. I wouldn't say it's not nice. It's not the word to say, but they're they're uh, they're not necessarily gr grotesque images. They're they're 
they're thoughtful images. They're, they're images that you can you could probably look at for a few minutes and think, well, that's that's got a lot to say. And I have told you I've tried to make more positive images. You're going to look at this folder. I, I've just uploaded I'll send you the link when we're done here. And uh, you're going to look at it and be like, this is positivity? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like the ones, that, the ones that you sent. You sent me one or two. Uh, it was the two two godlike figures having a conversation. I quite like that. That was that was. I haven't seen that before. And that yeah, and that was intended. Like I was truly trying to portray our conversations. Right. That yeah. was like yeah. not comparing ourselves to God, but I, the the godlike imagery just came because I said I want two guys with beards and hair you know having a, a deep conversation and then the everything around it is my description of what i wanted like the mushrooms and the eyeballs right yeah I, lo I, I love mushrooms and eyeballs i know you love mushrooms and eyeballs especially eyeballs right we're fascinated with eyes you know and yes. um, <laughs> it you know so it's um it, it works out well that way so i the, think what, the images that the images that you made that really freaked me out and i think i i think i took most of them out because I don't, I don't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't live with them. Was the maggots in the eyes? That one. <laughs> that that yeah, just. Were, that was like, oh no, I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to watch the videos if I put those in. So I think I, I think I managed to catch all of those. Although there may be maybe one or two sort of sort of snuck through, but yeah, there's the, the, there was. <laughs> there's definitely a kind of darkness there in the AI in the AI what the AI does, which is. And a kind of madness as well, which is exhilarating at times, but horrifying at other times. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and I remember that one there. That was I made those images because those were done. I think on like neural love, my very first AI thing I was using that combines different, like it combines Dolly and Mid Journey and different things. They have their own thing going oh, on. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I was my wife has a problem with eyes. Like she, she like she has beautiful eyes and she likes eyes, but like touching an eye or an eye being harmed some way just freaks her the hell out right. so i was like i was sitting we were probably sitting there watching some mindless show on tv and i was just sitting there going like look at this one and i was making <laughs> i was trying to horrify her right so i was just trying to and she loves being horrified like horr being horrified is one of her favorite things oh no right, so. yeah, so that's what that was for because that was, that was yeah, all like, about, oh well well you, yeah. you i don't know whether you succeeded in horrifying her but you succeeded in horrifying me so that's that's a, res <laughs> that's a result you can have if you want there you go <laughs> You know, and, I, and it's, you know, and you'll see this, this new pack I sent you to. There's a bunch of stuff in here that, yeah, definitely is dark. Um, I, I, uh, lots of those teratoma like things where I'm combining like elements of like messed up DNA and teeth and eyes, but I tried to give it more of a whimsical lava lamp kind of vibe to it. You know? Right. Okay. So it's, <laughs> yeah. You know, well, those, those I can handle. I think I can handle those. Those are, those are okay. Yeah. And there's lots of stuff too. I was working on, I'm still working on, I haven't settled yet on the night, a complete album cover for, for, uh, speak, what's the name of the new one now? Speak the Future? Mm. I think it's called. Wait, no. What's it, is it called Speak the Future? Yeah, the last one was yeah. called Hear yeah, this the one, Future. This one's Speak I, the Future, yeah, I keep isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, I keep getting them mixed up. <laughs> I keep getting them mixed up. But yeah, because they're all kind of under the taste of the future umbrella, which is just like that. Yeah, I've explained you the concept many times. But yeah, so there's lots of stuff in here that's meant to be potential album artwork um, for that. There's also some stuff um, where I was... Uh, um, trying to make some pictures about uh, like I, I tried to make a death by design logo for fun and it made a couple cool looking things that looked like they belong on a Hawkwind album cover Ooh! Um, but it did, didn't quite uh, come out the way I wanted it to um, I you know there were some pictures where I took me and my friend the picture of him and I at before the Pussifer show and just had them do some things so they looked, they looked pretty neat and then a couple of me with wearing my solar solar eclipse goggles those blue yeah. goggles I had yeah I just took that picture and said make this look surreal and just let the AI do what it wanted and it made some wonderful pictures yeah you know but there but there's some they're gonna look at it and be like what there's an exploding skull like there's like syringes and like weapons flying out of the back of an exploded skull like that's not positive <laughs> <laughs> but oh wow 